Welcome back to Let's Play Control. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we're here in the Astral Exhibition in research. I do like this map. Sort of. I guess I guess you can't really map the Astral Plane, so it's really more of a demonstration. It's even got the gold inlay. Now, if you'll excuse me. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Not you, you know what you did. <laughs> oh, yes. An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It, it's an actual place, not, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. It could be both. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. Oh, God. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Apart from the shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement. Native species oh, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astral knots returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Okay. Unsubscribe from that experience. How is it still so loud in here? Why is the case all warped? You know, let's not think about it. Let's just open this door. This is where I came in. Let's just go up these stairs instead. I've changed my mind. It's that? One of those horrible pulsing things? I love the cardboard uh, blocky thing. It's like they're trying to make it feel more comfortable. I don't love the alarm, though. That's the astral spike? I was expecting a tentacle. All right, all right, I'll push the butte on. Oh, hell no. No, no, it does look like it leads around in there. And I am not going in there with that thing. Are you insane? Oh, god damn it. And I remembered. It's this game. Yeah. Yeah, somebody is. You know what? I don't have a reason to go in there yet. Fuck! I wrecked all this equipment! Pop goes the weasel. Is that a door over there? No, it can't be, or this thing would have fled already. Now I was expecting that to be in there. Looks like it's a tentacle arching up and then poking down. Maybe it's a giant spider. Oh. What the hell? Where did you come from? Were you already there? Weird. Okay. 
Well, at least I'll leave a beautiful corpse, and at least it still can't get out. That's how the phrase goes, isn't it? Live fast, die young, leave a beautiful corpse. Ah! No, we're just running. There's a button over there, but we're running. Why is this still open? Ah! God. That looked like a defensive measure. Still need to get to that one. Ah! Right? It's this power block, isn't it? Uh... Uh... There! You know what? Let's loop around. It'll be fine. Nope. Fuck that. I'm kind of, I'm kind of busy trying not to be eaten! Oh, fuck me. It's right in front of the futon! Doing anything? <laughs> okay, so I'm not actually sure what I meant to accomplish in there. None of the butons seem to actually do anything once you get inside, even once you put the battery pack in place. Yeah, I got that! Hmm. And they're back. And I've seen this one. Wrong button. In fact, there it is. Oh, is that about the astral spike? An early hypothesis. Yeah, I guess it was. Okay. Astral blip, category two dash one nine two seven five research. Oh, all right. I'll push the button. An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the actual planet Oh, I'm an idiot. There's two of those things. But I didn't see two of those, uh, battery packs. Oh! Oh! It's in there! Oh no, 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 not gonna do that. Wait. Oh 
what fucking difference does that make? Oh. Come get some, you shithead! Over here... I just need him past the door. Playing house. Delicious. Oh, even that's cardboard. It's really like they wanted it to be more comfortable, so they surrounded it with, uh, things that would be familiar to it. I don't know that it minds. I'm also going to close this door, just in case. And this one. Now I feel safe. Someone answer, dammit! We need backup down here! Marshall, are you still there? Shit. We're so close. We need to hurry. It's the hypnosis lab. Nothing weird going on in there at all. Oh, fuck. Hiss clusters heal other enemies, destroy them to make the fight easier. Now that's a suggestion I can manage! Oh, good. Yeah. Move! Where the hell? There it is. Oh, hell! comment about those, I think. Apparently one of them appeared in, uh, the mission I failed twice. I forgot to mention that it was Derek Floyd who left that comment, saying, Two new enemies appeared in this video. The Hiss Sniper carries the same rifle as the Demolition Expert, but exchanges the rifle grenade for a top-mounted bayonet and an infrared scope with a cartoonishly large IR lamp. The Hiss Cluster appeared during the B Bureau Alert mission. It's a ball of angry Hiss energy that makes other Hiss enemies feel better. They get regeneration. Shoot the Medic first applies when you see enemy health bars with a white plus sign next to them. So, thanks for that. Rest in peace. Ah. Uh. That guy's dead. Oh. Oh! Yeah, this would be where those guys come from, huh? Fuck, they're up here. You know what? No. I actually wanted this. Uh oh, I can't run like this and I'm almost dead. <laughs> uh, no, my back. Well, that sucked. Uh, you may be wondering, uh, what's up with the connection between Remedy and Poets of the Fall? Uh, 
Apparently it's as simple as the fact that Remedy's uh, head honcho slash, you know, main writer, Sam Lake, is apparently just personal friends with the lead singer of Poets of the Fall, Marco Saresto. Or say Saresto. I don't know how you say that. Um, in fact, uh, Max Payne 1. They used, uh... Yeah, the comic book cutscenes were drawn over uh, photos of, like, staged photos of uh, people acting out the scenes, you know, playing the characters. So every character had two actors in, uh, in Max Payne. The, uh, the one doing the voice and the one doing the live-action portrayal that got drawn over. And, uh... And in Max Payne, the uh, Russian mobster Vladimir Len was actually portrayed by Marco Saresto in those cutscenes. Yeah, just friends. Oh! Achievement progress towards interdimensional defender. I guess these guys count as the hiss. Three hundred ninety nine out of a thousand. Nice. Oh, of course. It just, I was wondering what the point of all this was when it's going to wreck it all anyway, and then I remembered, it's going to wreck it all, and then the house is going to fix everything, over and over and over again. If I pull that out of the wall, will it, you know, never be able to open again? Because that would be nice. Oh, all those guys are going to be back. And the stupid orb. Hello, orb. Up yours. Up yours. Noted. The orb. The interdimensional defender went up for that thing too, so I guess that still only counts as one, huh? Me, really? Eat those dots, eat them, for they are delicious and full of life. Scumbag. Yes, okay, fine. Astral blips and intrusive patterns. <laughs> Recording chair procedures. Aha! I was wondering... Wait, no, that's not right. Oh, it's just the first one. What the fuck? I thought it was going to be... Ah, it's going to finally be the, uh, the, the log on those guys in the chairs who I note do not appear in any of these. I didn't think they did. Yeah, those are the ones that fly around, but they just... Uh, no, not the ones in chairs. Those are just the flying around guys, like that boss we fought. There's guards, standard dudes. There's rangers, snipers, troopers. And that first one I got. Okay. Recording chair procedures. Uh, no extraneous information. Before using the recording devices, please ensure the following safety measures are met. Number one, ensure the volunteer is securely fastened in the chair. Number two, ensure the hood is placed over the volunteer's head. This will prevent the volunteer from taking in visual stimuli during the record process, which can lower the quality of captured footage. This also prevents recording technicians from viewing the volunteer's face, which undergoes muscle spasms during recording that some consider upsetting. Number three, check if the volunteer is comfortable. Number four, activate the recording apparatus. 
Number five, after recording is complete, just no explanation at all, check volunteer cognitive ability using the provided questionnaire. Uh, questionnaire. Reminder, do not be alarmed if the length of recorded footage exceeds the volunteer's period of unconsciousness. Astral dilation is a known issue. If any problems arise during this process, contact your supervisor. So they're up here, right? I've got a handful of shit for you! Who wants some? Eat shit! Eat shit! Oh, oh I know. Where the fuck are you? There you are! Oh, fuck me! It's a big dude! Oh, and the timer has gone. Ahem! Let me just wrap this up first, real quick. Yes, let's take the cushioned chair. Um, no. That's yeah, better, but no. Fuck me, I've turned this into a war zone. Uh, uh, shit off, oh, fuck. A big guy. That didn't work at all. They're not following me because they know that I'm in a less advantaged position if I don't. Or if I'm up uh, here. No! Come get some! Rock powder, you say. Fuck. Even I can see what that is. I think this room is cleansed. I don't know what this was. Oh, it's a model of a brain, okay. I guess we'll have to look at that when everything, you know, fixes itself later. There you are. Achievement unlocked his cluster. Not his cluster. Not achievement unlocked, uh, just a file on that. But we're not going to look at that at until next time. When we cleanse that control point, read this lore that's lying around, and, uh... Continue on our quest to find Marshall, I guess. Later.